Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, make sure you like this video and turn the red to the gray. And if you're returning, welcome back. Greatly appreciated. And I hope everyone is having a um, good Friday morning and happy Good Friday to everyone. I'm going to be reading a passage from the Bible today. Sorry for yesterday. I was just not having a good day and but it got better through the day. So I'm doing this today. But I love all you guys. So with further ado, let's get on with this. I'm going to be reading First Peter two one through twenty five. Had to like look at that because <laughs> so with further ado, let's get on with this. So get rid of every kind of evil, every kind of deception, hypocris hypocris criticism, jealousy, and every kind of slander, desire, God peer, word, as newborn babies, desire milk. Then you will grow in your salvation. Certainly, you have tasted that the Lord is good. You are coming to Christ, the living stone, who will, who was rejected by humans, but was chosen a precious by God. You have come to him in living stones, a spiritual house that is being built into a holy priesthood. So offer spiritual sacrifices that God accepts through Jesus Christ. That he, that is why scriptures say, <clears throat> I am laying and chosen, chosen, chosen in precious cornerstones in Zion. And the person who believes in him will never be ashamed. This honor believes, belongs to those who believe. But those who don't believe that stone that the builders rejected who has become the cornerstone, a stone that people trip over, a large rock that people find offensive. The people tripped over their word because they refused to believe it. Therefore, this is how they ended up. However, you are chosen people in royal priesthood of holy nation, people who belong to God, we were chosen to tell about excellent qualities of God who called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not God's people, but now you are only you were not shown mercy, but now you have been shown mercy. Dear friends, since you are forgiveners and temporary residents in the world, I am encouraging you to keep away from the desires of your corrupt nature. These desires constantly attack you. Live descendant lives along unbelievers, then although they ridicule, ridicule you as if you were doing wrong while they were watching you, do good things, they will praise you, praise God on the day he comes to help you. Place yourselves under the authority of human governments. 
to please the Lord. Obey the emperor. He holds the highest position of authority. Also obey governors. They are people the emperor has sent to punish those who do wrong and to praise those who do right. God wants you to silence the ignorance of foolish people by doing what is right. Live as free people, but don't hide behind your freedom. When you do evil, instead, use your freedom to serve God. Honor everyone. Love your brothers and sisters in faith. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Slaves, place yourselves under the authority of your owners and show them complete respect. Obey only those owners who are good and kind, but also those who are unfair. God is pleased if a person is aware of him while enduring the pains of unjust suffering. <clears throat> what credit do you deserve if you do? If you endure a beating or doing something wrong. But if you endure suffering for doing something good, God is pleased with you. God called you to endure suffering because Christ suffered for you. He left you an example for that you could follow his footsteps. Christ never committed any sin. He never spoke deceitfully. If I'm saying that right, it's D E C E I T F U L L Y. Christ never verbally abused those who verbally abused him. When he suffered, he didn't make any threats, but left everything to the one who judge it fairly. Christ carried our sins in our body on the cross so that he freed from our sins. We could not we couldn't live a life that has good God's approval. He wounds have healed you. You were like lost sheep. Now you have come back to the shepherd of the bishop of our of your lives so God loves us no matter what goes on that he is always there for us but I'm going to also read a little scripture on my phone. It's going to be Peter, First Peter, two twenty-four. It said, "Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And however he lives, believes in me will never die." So, and then also, he also said, God so loved the world that he has given his only for forgotten son. And then we may say that on the first Good Friday afternoon, one was completed that the day act by which light conquered darkness and goodness conquered sin that is the wonder of our salvation in crucifixion that was by John 316 
But I hope everyone has an amazing Good Friday and I love you all and hope all of you have an amazing Friday afternoon. Love you all. Mwah.